First, Nassau County's new mask ban is now law. Republican County Executive Bruce Blakeman signing the measure today as it faces some criticism from some Democrats and others. News 12's John Dowding is in Mineola tonight. John, good evening. Hey, good evening to you, Joe. Now, this first of its kind ban since the end of the pandemic does provide exceptions for medical and religious reasons. But those we spoke to here in Nassau County say they're just curious how police would even enforce this type of ban. It's now illegal in Nassau County to wear a mask in public. Nobody has a constitutional right to hide their identity in public. County Executive Bruce Blakeman says the law protects the public after he says people in masks committed anti-Semitic attacks during the protests at Columbia University and use masks to commit crimes in Nassau. People using masks to shoplift, to carjack, to rob banks, and this is activity that we want to stop. In a statement, Nassau County Democratic Minority Leader Delia Dirigi Witten said in part, quote, Bruce Blakeman's decision to sign the mask ban law is nothing more than political theater and a blatant waste of taxpayer money. This law is designed to be struck down in court. The NYCLU also spoke out against the bill, saying in part, once again, Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman has chosen to chase a culture war over protecting the rights and well-being of his own residents. But public opinion still remains divided over this newest law. It's a fantastic move. If the people are doing it so that no one can see their face, then yeah, I think it should stop because if they're doing something illegal, they should be held accountable for it. But if he wants to wear it, how are you going to stop somebody from putting something on their body? It doesn't make sense. It's, it's like having a dress code. Now, last week, the seven Democratic legislators abstained from the vote when the full legislator voted on that bill. Now, again, this law makes it a misdemeanor, punishable by up to a thousand dollar fine and a year in jail for wearing a face covering to hide your identity in public. In Mineola this evening, I'm John Dowding, News 12, Long Island.